Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever, and still it's not enough. Humans may control the Council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Ah! I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Get to the damn shuttles! I'll haul Joker's crippled ass out of here.
Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead, just like us if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> it's too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This Shepard. 
But grab your weapon this and pistol armor. doesn't have. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. We need to get to the shuttles. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on you. Don't take any chances. Stay in cover. Take out those mechs. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mechs distracted for long. More reinforcement. Here come the mechs. One floor. Hurry! Get to the door! Run! You're doing great, right, Shepard. Head to the next room and I'll try to meet you. Shepard, you can free me. I've got the next closing in on my position. Still a work in progress. Look, pal, I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus, my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in. But we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if check, you... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Bastards got me in the leg! We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Shepard, <clears throat> never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can... 
Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance, before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. You must have some reason for bringing me back. Tell me what's going on. All gotta come from the boss, Shepard. As soon as we're safe. We're almost at the shuttle. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. Everyone screaming. Gunfire. Blood everywhere. I was the only one who stayed focused on survival. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Council died on the Destiny Ascension, and you killed Saren. What happened next? With the Council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new Council. I recommended Ambassador Udina to lead it. Yes, Ambassador Udina is now Counselor Udina. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Not sure he's done enough for humanity. But I guess that's politics for you. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room.
Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and Ageth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? We're gonna find out who did this and take them down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. I don't want to fight you, Shepard. But I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. You expect us to do all the dirty work while you sneak in and grab Vitor? Not likely. We're better equipped for a frontal assault than they are, Commander. If we don't work together, we're not going to get past those mechs. We're moving out. 
If you want your answers, get to that warehouse. The Quarians are an unexpected variable. They could help us, but I'd hope to keep an eye on them. I bet they're saying the same thing. I'm... Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. got heavy armor plating. Those Quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect, safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor, not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great, we come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming, storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mexico You're not one of them. You're human. They they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept to themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. The people at Cerberus won't hurt him, Tally. You have my word. But we need that information, and it's clear the Quarians don't want to share. Damn it, Shepard! I trusted you! He'll be fine. We promise. But we have to find out all we can about the Collectors. What? No. I don't understand. We need a pickup. Have a medbay standing by. Good luck, Shepard. I hope what you get from Vitor is worth it. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. Unfortunately, the Quarium you brought back didn't give us any useful information. He's too far gone. He'll be returned to the Migrant Fleet. But more importantly, 
you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these collectors. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. The collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. 
The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Now that we've established who's in charge, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions.